G'day, I'm James, and I'm a math guy. And I have two problems. Well, I have many problems in my life, but there are two problems in my mind right now. And it surprised me when I realized that these two distinct problems are actually the same problem in disguise. One is about folding a tie, and one is about sharing candy. Whoa, let me explain. Here's my tie folding problem. I travel a great deal, and often have to take a tie with me. And here's a school tie from St. Mark's School in the Boston area. Go St. Mark's! All right, now when I wear my tie, I do not like crease marks to show when I later unpack the tie. So ideally, in a suitcase, I'd love to lay out the tie perfectly flat this way. But the trouble is, there is no suitcase this long for me. All right, so that's not gonna work. So the next best thing is to fold the tie in half, great, and lay it out that way. Now, I don't like checking my bags anymore. Everything I do is carry-on luggage. Even this turns out to be too long for my carry-on bags. All right, so then maybe I should fold it into quarters. Great, that definitely fits on my carry-on luggage. But the trouble is, when I later unfold the tie, a crease mark develops right at this quarter mark, and it shows. Ah, don't like that. So I figured that actually folding a tie in thirds would be perfect. That gives me a great length to, that doesn't show a crease mark that still fits in my carry-on bags. So the question is, how does one fold a tie into thirds? And then, my other challenge in life is, imagine I had a bowl of candy. This isn't actually candy, but it often happens. And I want to share this equally among three people. Why this happens a lot in my life? Don't ask, it just does. All right, now one approach, of course, is I could actually do this, count out the candy. Go through, you know, what, 200 pieces? I don't know how many pieces there are. Count them all out, very tedious. Divide that number by three and give each pe person that number of candies. <sighs> but I'm a mathematician. Mathematicians don't like doing hard work. They'll avoid hard work at all costs. They'll work very hard to avoid hard work. So I'm now wondering, is there a way that I could actually share this candy equally among three people in a way that avoid, avoids actually having to count it? And then it occurred to me, these are exactly the same problem. So, let me give away some answers. Let's first do, first do the tie folding problem. How do I fold a tie into thirds? Here's one approach. What I'm gonna do is gonna make a lousy approximation of thirds. That looks like it's bad, a bad third. No way, that's a third of the tie. So I'll hold it up. There's my bad approximation. What I'm going to do now is pick up the long end that's dangling down and bring it to my hand that's holding the tie. That creates a loop, which I'll pinch with my other hand and then drop everything. Aha! And that then gives me a new long end, which I'll pick up to my hand and hold. I've got another loop and I'll drop. Now, the section of time holding now is longer than I had before. It's a close approximation to one third. I still don't think it's a good third, so what I'm going to do is do this process again. Pick up the long end, hold, grab the loop, drop, pick up the new long end, and, oh, actually, I'm seeing this looks pretty good. You can see it looks pretty good. It looks like thirds there. Hold, uh, grab the loop and drop. Then I claim that is mighty close to being a perfect one third of the tie length. In fact, I can now pick this up and fold my tie in the suitcase this way, and all is grand. I'm all set for my travels. Great. Now, the real question is, what's the mathematics here? Why does that work? Let's talk about that. But before that, I've got to solve the candy problem. So let's go do the candy demonstration next. Okay, here's all the candy spilled out on a table surface. As you see, it's not candy, they're go pieces, but we'll pretend it's candy. Our mission here is to select exactly one third of this candy without going through the tedious process of counting it all out. So how do we do that? Well, actually, this does mimic the tie folding problem. But we can follow that process precisely, but do it with bits of candy rather than lengths of tie. Here's how it goes. First of all, start by making a lousy approximation of one third. I am sure that's a lousy one third estimate. However, what did we do with the tie with our lousy estimate? We took the long length, in this case the big pile, and split it in half. So I'm gonna split that in half here. Okay, great. And I'll bring half over to the short pile, the small pile. Great. And then with the tie, we took the new long end and folded that in half, split that in half. That corresponds to splitting this new big pile in half. Again, eyeballing it, lots of human error. Bingo. Now, if all goes well, that should be a much better approximation to one third of the candy than we started with. Actually, with the tie process, we did it twice. So let's do it again here. Let's, let's go through this approximation process twice. I'll split the long length, the big pile in half again, and then split the new big pile, the new long length, in half again. Yes. Okay, you can see there's lots of human error here. All right, now this should be a very good approximation to one third. 
Now I'm going to let you in on a secret. I do actually know how many Go pieces there are out on the board right now. There are 183. And 183 divided by 3 is 61. So this should be very close to 61 pieces. Let's check it out. I'm going to count it out. So here goes 3, 3, 3, and 1 makes 10. 3, 3, 3, and 1, another 10, up to 20. 3, 3, 3, and 1, halfway there hopefully. 3, 3, 3, and 1, up to 40. 3, 3, 3, and 1, 50. 3, 3, 3, and 1, 61. We got exactly one third. Bingo. This is beautiful. Okay, let me explain what's going on. I'll draw on a piece of paper. So this piece of paper represents my tie. And what I've done here is I've drawn in the perfect one-third marks. One-thirds, two-thirds along the tie. Great. So these are the ideal folds. And what we're doing in the tie folding process, or this discrete version with candy, is making a lousy first approximation, which I'll do. Okay, here's a lousy first approximation of one-third. I'll do it there. Great. So there's the lousy approximation, there's the true correct value, and we see here an error of about, uh, it looks like it's mm, just, just a smidgen over an inch, so I'm an inch off. Now the idea was that when we fold it, we should be improving the error, so I'm off by an inch, and I guess the first fold we do is from the long end, either the big part of candy or the long end of the tie, we fold that in half, and we get a new approximation. And this new approximation is, I see the crease mark, let me just mark it so it shows on the camera, is here. Which looks very close to the ideal position. So if I fold this way, I should begin, here's the ideal position, we're there. In fact, I've measured the error, and it looks like it's just a smidgen over half an inch. In fact, the error has reduced by a half. Now, a little bit of mathematics here, you can either do it in algebra or just, just think your way through it. You can prove that whenever you do a fold, if you're off by some amount to begin with, each fold will reduce the error by a half. So if I do it again, so where's my new long end? So here's my new long end. Look at this. I'm now at this position. Great, which is really close to the ideal third. Let's do it again. Do the long fold on one side. Then the long fold on the other side. This is exactly what I did with my tie. And you can see that I've now got an approximation. Oh, I don't think you can see it on the camera. I can barely see it myself, but it's right on the side of the big black line. So actually, every time you do some folds, you'll get creases. They get closer and closer to the ideal position, but they get half the distance each time. Uh, that is brilliant. In fact, what's lovely about this process, there's nothing special about thirds here. I challenge you, try to figure out a folding process that'll get me a tie that folds at three sevenths position. Lots of stuff to think about here, lots of cool stuff. Folding and candy sharing, brilliant. And I love that this discrete version with candy actually worked too. This is golden.